All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we dive to this lesson, giving an honor, no glory, no praise to due to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Waka Kadash. Javon's a great millstone, editor, apostle, and teacher, of well. Peace, salutation to those for elected, scattered abroad across the four winds of this planet that's adoring all things. And shalom to the Sir Akim that's out there making their body a living sacrifice for the good cause and good works of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And a shalom to the Sarah Aquathium that's out there refs and their husbands being a pillar of rest to you sincere believers. Shalom. This lesson is going into shooting forth signs in the heavens. Okay. The reason being for this lesson because um, it was yesterday morning. I was on my way uh, out the house and stuff like that. And I was, uh, I had seen the moon in the distance. And this is the first time I ever seen the moon like just red you know completely red you know like i seen blood moons but this one was like you know noticeably red you know it, it it was it was noticeably you know red you know and i noticed when i tried to look for it again it had disappeared you know and i had took a video of it you know just you know just for edification sake you know just hey man this is just letting you know like you know we are almost up at the end of this kingdom man you know the lord said that you know when you see these signs you know there's no it's the end of a kingdom okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna play this video that i had sent to the aq shalom shalom yeah how about shimmy out shabba 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 um i was trying to show how red the moon is right now man this is five in the morning heading on to six in the morning and this is how you know man this is how you know we are at the end of the kingdom look at the moon man that, that was the moon it's lucky for it being blurry but that was the moon yesterday morning you know five in the morning you know there was the moon yesterday five in the morning you know and as you can see it, it is it's red man Okay, a blood moon. Okay, I don't even think it was a uh, talking the news or anywhere letting you letting people know that a red moon is going to appear, you know. And so happened this happened um, five in the morning, you know. And that is this is just you know letting you know the Lord said He's going to show for signs within the heavens, man. Okay, and we are seeing these things, and I um. We are seeing these things in this lifetime, man. Okay? Because hey, the Lord created the moon to show forth signs, man, for feast days and, you know, to be a sign to let you know what's going on. Okay? The sun as well, man. Because the sun could be turned red as well, man. It happened before. Okay? Um, let's go ahead and get some precepts. This Ecclesiastic is all known as Sirach chapter 43 and verse 6. He made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration, declaration of times and a sign of the world. Right. Did not the Lord say that the when, the, you know, the, before the dreadful day of the Lord, that the moon should be made, uh, made blood red, man? Okay. That's letting you know. That's a sign in the world letting you know, like, hey, this is one of the things you will see before the end comes, man. Okay. So it's like the Lord not going to tell you what day and what hour he's coming back but he's giving forth you know signs to let you know like you know what time and position we are in man you know and also they are saying something about the um doomsday clock being 90 seconds away from um 90 seconds away 90 seconds away from midnight okay so that's letting you know that destruction is not okay the end is nigh, okay? You can't get around this because, hey, here it is. The Lord said he made the moon to serve in her season to be a declaration of signs in the world, man. Okay, a red moon is letting you know that something is about to, some, something is about to go down, man. Okay, when we see a new moon, that's letting us know this is a new month because that's a sign, okay, within the earth, okay? Um, that's it on that. Let's go ahead and get Joel chapter 2 starting at verse 30 and going 31 and the reason it says i will shoot forth wonders in heaven and in the earth and uh and in the earth blood and fire and pillars of smoke okay verse 31 
The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and dreadful, great and terrible day of Yahweh of Yahweh Shemiah Shai come. Okay, so right now we are seeing this. Right now we are seeing the moon turning red because hey, this is it's before the terrible and dreadful day of Yahweh Shemiah Shai returns, man. Okay, because when the Lord returns, hey, it's just gonna be utter destruction, man. Okay, the Lord is giving a forewarning now that He's making His return, man. Okay, because look, look at the signs, man, in the earth. Okay, you can't get around it. Okay, this is in your face, and and and, and, and you know the Lord set up the prophets to bring this out, bring these information to the table, man. Okay, because hey. How you want to know when uh, um, you want to know that when we are at the end, here it is. The Lord is showing forth signs within the heavens. I'm going to reread it. The sun shall be turned into darkness. You have you had eclipses happen. OK. And the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of Yahweh Shimei Shai. Right. All right. So that's it on that. This is uh, the book of Acts, chapter two and verse 19. And the reason it says and I will shoot wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath blood and blood and fire and vapor of smoke. And this is basically we quoting Joel 2. This is in the New Testament. Verse 20. And the sun shall be turned into darkness and the great and in, in, in the moon into blood before the great and notable day of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. OK, so, hey. The moon, once again, the Lord is letting you know, like one of the signs that let you know that um, that destruction is nigh because you are going to see the signs within the heavens. You are going to see the destruction. You are going to see uh, mass chaos. You are going to see all these things playing out in the earth because, hey, this is for prophecy's sake. OK. All right. This is for prophecy's sake. All right. So this is letting you know what things you be seeing. Before the end comes, okay. This is uh second address chapter nine, starting at verse one. And the reason it says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand, then thou shalt then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made right and as you see these signs within the heavens is letting you know the lord is visiting the earth you are seeing the destruction of the uh, of the wicked here man okay as soon it's going to be on a mass scale soon man okay because hey the lord has said in our second edge of the 15th chapter that he's not gonna hold his tongue no more he just gonna go ahead and just start destroying shit man and he's doing that now man america is being attacked Okay, America is catching hell, you know. So it's like, man, look, man, the Lord already said that. The Lord already said these things are going to come to pass, man. Okay, so it's like you can't get around it. It is this is just prophecy, man. This is just straight up prophecy. Okay. Verse uh, three, and it says, therefore, when thou shalt see, shall. See, be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of the, those things from the days that were from the were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is in the, is made in the world has has a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Right, the end is manifest before our very eyes. Okay, you are we are seeing blood moons. We are seeing these eclipses. Okay. And also, you having this devil push the digital currency, letting you further know that, like, hey, this devil's going to push this shit soon, man. We don't know when. We don't know what day. We don't know what hour. We don't know what month. But, hey, it's coming soon. Okay? That's why the scriptures say, though, the vision is for a point of time. Terry, it, it, though, it, though, Terry, wait a point, man, because it's going to come to pass. Ezekiel 33 and 33, when this prophecy shall come to pass, and it will come to pass, because... This is going to come to pass, man. All right. We are seeing these blood moons. This is prophesied 2,000 years ago. And as you see, these things are playing out on the earth, man. So there it goes to let you know, like, hey, this is this, this is prophecies, man. Okay. The Lord said these things are going to happen, man. All right. 
Let's sit on that. Let's get the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 10, going into prophecies. It says, For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not, returneth not thither, but watereth the earth. Sorry, got a crater up here somewhere. It says, Return not thither, but watereth the earth, and make it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed, give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. Okay. Basically letting you basically comparing, you know, the weather to the prophecies because when they are telling you about oh there's a storm coming in, uh uh there's a storm coming in, it's going to bring this and this and this and that, and it happens, you know, and it falls to the and rain falls to the earth, it doesn't come back up into the Lord until it is till it is finished. Okay, same thing with the prophecies. Okay, verse eleven. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return, shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. Right, the prophecies, man. Okay, the Lord's words are prophesied, are prophecies, man. Okay, Yahweh shall prophesy of what things to watch for in the end, in the end, man. You know, we are seeing the uproars of the people. Okay. We are seeing that play out on the earth, man. These prophecies are coming to pass. Okay, what did Elder Apostle Tahardim this year? Hopefully all the prophecies come to pass, man. Roughly paraphrasing. Okay? So, with that, man, I pray and hope this lesson is edifying to those that may watch, giving no honor, no glory, no praise due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makan Kadash. Till next time, to next video, Shalom, Kwan Shabrala, Abadabah.